Oh, by the way, I rang up about the train, and it's all OK. Oh, so that's where we're going right. next week. Yes, we're off to paint trains. That's right. We? So that's see right. you all next week. All right, let's then carry on with now. the palette knife. Right, so a bit more... Uh, For a fact pack which accompanies this series, send an A4 self-addressed envelope with 75 pence to cover the postage to Philip Beryl, The Flying Artist, P.O. Box 39, Southport, Lancashire, PR9 9JA. After the break, we take a brief look back at Channel Report with Paul Brown in the News Minute. Beautiful furniture, craftsman made and just that bit different. Make more of your home at prices you can afford. French style, next to Vienna Bakery at Georgetown. Valerie's special £25 and under sale starts Tuesday, 2nd of August. Skirts, blouses, jackets, jumpers and shoes. Don't miss the bargain sale at Valerie's. Turn on to Channel Teletext, page 250, and take off with our new holiday section. No matter where or when you want to go, your holiday starts on Teletext, page 250. Discover Microworld, now in Jersey. Imagine a horse on the head of an ant. Microworld, Five Mile Road, St. Juan. Only wish I knew where we'd done it. Improving your home. Bring space, light and extra value to your surroundings with a quality conservatory from Pentagon and Tricorn. Pentagon and Tricorn, making your dreams come true. The Burberry Sale starts on the 13th of August. But hurry, it can't last forever. The top stories from Channel Report tonight. The parish of St Helier was fined £1,000 today for contempt of court. The Royal Court heard St Helier had failed on two occasions to find a candidate for the post of centenaire following the retirement of David Goran. Deputy Bailiff Philip Balash said this was a serious matter because it threatened Jersey's criminal justice system. Guernsey's Mallard Hotel hoped to be the first in the Channel Islands to have their own casino. The director of Jersey's Alcohol and Drug Service believes dealers controlling the drugs market could be limiting the supply of cannabis to tempt drugs users into taking heroin. And parishioners of St John in Jersey will have to go to the polls to elect a new deputy, even if former Constable John Lesueur decides not to offer himself for election. Former centenaire Phil Rondell has already said he'll stand. Now Vantineer Chris Taylor has announced he will too. It's our News Minute. Rona and Charlie were obviously suffering from battle fatigue when they wrote the diary because we have a couple of corrections. Firstly, the fate for the care of the elderly is being held at the Royal Square and not St Saviour's Hospital, the time from 8.30. Secondly, the Jersey Death Society is holding an open garden at La Croix St Oban on Sunday the 14th from 2 till 5 and not Saturday. So, the Royal Square is the place to be for the fate for the care of the elderly, that's from 8.30, and the garden at La Croix St Oban will be open from 2 till 5 on Sunday.